maybe by the time I'm 35, I'll be like, you know what, it's fine. I'm not going to play any games anymore. I'm going to go over to chess. So my goal is going to be beat Hikaru and Magnus within this, like the same <laughs> hour. Once that's done, I hit Grandmaster and I quit. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a remote episode of Party Chat. We're remote today because we are going all the way across the pond for today's guest. He is the Bo Jackson of gaming, a multi-game, multi-pro, top-tier pro. He was pro in Fortnite, then went pro in Valorant. The absolute GOAT, my favorite gamer and streamer, Benji Fishy. What up, Benji? Hello, nice guys. Hello. Uh, yeah, likewise. <laughs> I, I do feel bad. I don't know who Bo Jackson is. Is, is that like a what? British? Is, is that a problem? That is yeah. Yeah? So British. British? Is that so British? British. <laughs> that I guess so it shows. <laughs> He's, uh, he played uh, football and baseball professionally. Oh damn! And he was pretty good at he was pretty good at both. I don't think he was that good at baseball though, right? Uh, no, dude, he was nasty. He had an absolute hose. I'm trying to yeah, think. It would be it would be like if someone um in Britain um played like cricket really well and also uh like soccer really had well. straight teeth. Um. <laughs> Let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, <laughs> played football really well. Yeah, my bad. But is he? Oh, but yeah. is Bo Jackson as was he as good? Wait, which one? Which game did he? Uh, which sport did he go to second? Ba baseball. Yeah, baseball. First, first he played MLB The Show, and then he and then he also played Madden. <laughs> yeah. he played Madden. Oh shit! But did okay. But is Bo Jackson as good? Was he as good at baseball as I am at Valorant though? No. No, I, I, honest to God, no. You I'm, are, I'm better uh, than Bo Jackson, is what you're trying to say. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. That was exactly the point I was, I was illustrating. Benji, this is the party chat button right here. I don't know if you can see it on, on the remote setup, but every time we hit this button, we are going to ask you another question. We just like to get right down to it, ask the questions that people want to hear. Are you ready? I'm, I'm perfectly ready, yeah. But I, it's a little bit hard to see it, the button, but I, I can... Yeah, that's fine. If you do that, I got you. All right, all right. Here we go. I'll uh, I'll go first, Ben. Okay. <clears throat> first question. Did you ever consider buying Fnatic dinner before you aggressively clapped their cheeks? <laughs> you know what? I was considering it. I was considering it. <laughs> That yeah. was a, that's a good that first been, question. That was a good first question. That would have been a nice, uh, nice thing to do before you just went ahead and did it like that. It would have been polite, but you know, just just raw dogged it really. Like, you, yeah, like, fuck it. Okay. <laughs> that's great. Okay, cool. How did it feel though? You really popped off. Was that probably your best performance in uh, in uh, on Heretics? Um, best performance on Heretics. I mean, the thing is, stats wise, probably. In game, I didn't like feel I was doing like anything crazy. I was just like playing really solid. Like I was just hitting my shots. I was, you know, doing. I, I did my job basically. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, the stats. I was, I was top fragging. I was MVP. So I guess I did pretty good, right? I was. I mean, also like yeah, Fnatic. Absolutely. Fnatic was my, like my favorite team ever. Like ever since I stopped to Valorant, they've been like my favorite team to watch. Favorite like players to watch. And now, like, it was my like my, my number one team. I want to play against. Play against them, and we beat them. So. No, it feels it feels yeah, sick, that's huge. Dream come, dream come true. All right, Ben. All right, I'm gonna hit the button. Did it work? I think it did. Uh, all right, Benji, I'm gonna have you blind rank these. There's eight of them, but I want you to rank the hardest games to go pro in. Okay. Okay. Understood. All right. So between one and eight is your answer, and then I'll f I'll fill in the numbers as we go. Okay. But you won't know what's coming next. First one, Fortnite. Fortnite. Starting off with Fortnite. Um, you know, I think okay, a lot of people say Fort Fortnite is like hard to go pro in, but I think the fact there's open open cups, I think it is one of the easier games. That's just like a an opinion of mine. I'm gonna put it six. Cause there's no gatekeeping. Wow. There's no gatekeeping. No, there's no franchise league. There's no like yeah, stuff like that. I think it's 
Then it says open tournaments. I think any any game of open tournaments, like open cups, it is easier because you can get recognized just by playing on a random Wednesday, you know, and doing well. So that's how I see it. it. That hasn't happened to me yet, but all right. Next one. <sighs> CS. CS. Uh, let's put CS. CS is difficult. Let's put CS top three. Let's put third. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Oh, I mean, I don't know much about Call of Duty if I'm being dead honest. But they've got like a franchise league, so I would put it. I, I would, I would. Mm, see now, this is this is where it gets tricky because I was gonna say I put Call of Duty above Fortnite, but then you've also got to take into account like player base. Like there is more people like in general trying to go pro in Fortnite than there is Call of Duty, but there is a franchise league right. called Julie. So I don't actually know. You know what? We'll put Call of Duty below COD. We'll put we'll put COD seven. Here's a big one for you, Valorant. Valorant. Now, do I put Valorant above CS? That is the tricky one. That is a tricky one. You know what? You know what? We're going to go... We'll put Valorant fourth. We'll put Valorant fourth. I will, I will firm the L of CS being hard to go Brian and Valorant. Wow. All right. I'm really interested to see what lands in the first and second spot now. I've got ideas. Next one is... Okay. <laughs> Next one is... At the end, you can write one in if you, if you need to. Um... Rocket League. Rocket League? I think in terms of like mechanical skill, Rocket League is very hard. There's not really many transferable games. But I mean... Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think... You've used three, four, six, and seven. Three, four, six, and seven. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to... I'm five. Gonna, Rocket, eight, League Rocket League 2. Rocket League 2. Wow. Above, okay, maybe that's crazy, but... Rocket League, Rocket League, I mean, I tried to, like, play Rocket League, man, that, that game's difficult as fuck, I'm gonna be down, it's like, that game is difficult. Didn't you All hit right. Grand Champ, though? I hit Grand Champ, yeah, when I was properly grinding, I hit Grand Champ. <laughs> but, like, you know, I, I'm just me, I can, <laughs> I can, I can play. Yeah, yeah, no, you're him. Yeah, no, super difficult game, I hit the top rank, but it was, it was kind of hard. No, I mean, there's, there's were... three ranks now, there's SSL, which I never hit. Oh, got it, got it. So, how do you feel about people calling it car soccer? Car soccer. I mean, first of all, car football. Let's get it right. Um, <laughs> even if it's car football, still, like, do you see what these guys do, mate, in these games? They're fucking ridiculous. Like, They're it's insane. the stuff they, it's like, like mate, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, I watch it. I'm like, how can you control a car that well? Like, these guys are doing, yeah. like, triple flip resets, like, off the ceiling, like, floor pinch. out. I, mean, I don't even know what it is at this point. They just, uh, they're, they're, they're sick. So I, I respect Rocket League pros. Heck yeah. All right. So you have the top spot, number one. You have five and you have the bottom spot, number eight, remaining for the last three. Okay. League of Legends. Okay. Rank one. That, I mean, that has to go rank one. Like, to, like wow. I think League is the hardest game to go pro in. Like, maybe there's close ones, but... I think out of everything, like, it's a franchise league, like, there's, I mean, sure, you've got, like, academy rosters, but, like, the game in general, like, it's very, very hard. And it's not like, it's not like it's a shooter, you know, it's not like Counter-Strike or Valorant, where, like, you can just have, like, gifted aim or, like, natural aim. Like, I think it's one of those games, like, you just gotta grind it. Like, League especially, there's so many champs. Like, I, mate, I've got, like, 4,000 hours in League. I'm shit. I'm shit. That's one of the games. Like, I just can't do it. I, uh, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, League was the first game I ever played when I was eight years old. Um, oh, wow. First ever game I started playing because my brother was playing it. Um, and yeah, I managed, I managed to hit plat one. Plat one in, I think it was season six. And at the time... You were eight years old? Uh, this one, I was more like 11. 11, I was plat oh, okay. one. But that's like, at the time... There was no, like, wow. there was a lot less ranks. It went, like, plat, diamonds, and then I think it was maybe something in between that and challenger, but, like, I was still pretty good for my age, but, like, now, if I play it, mate, I am god-awful. I am god Like, that's just one of the games I can't I can't do it. So, yeah, League, league yeah, top tough. one for me. Always top one. I feel like you're going to go pro in League in, like, a year. Oh, yeah, no, I've already, <laughs> I've already got my, my schedule planned out for the next 10 years or so. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> Yeah, what's your yeah? So you're a multi-game pro. You've yeah. gone pro in Fortnite. You've gone pro in Valorant. What is what is the next ten years look like? Okay, well, so yeah, I spent how how long did I play Fortnite for? Four years. So yeah, 2019 to 2020, 
two was Fortnite. Now I'm on the start of Valorant, right? I probably play Valorant. You know what? I, what I want to achieve on Valorant is I want to win a couple, couple championships, right? A couple champ, maybe maybe two or three. Become you know one something of the goats. Light. Become what? Yeah, you know something, something kind of light. Yeah, I'll, I'll become one of the goats. <laughs> um, and once that's been done, I, I give myself two years maybe from now, two years, and then after that, we're gonna hop over to League of Legends. We will hop over to League of Legends. Wow. And but we've you know we've got to do it kind of quickly because of Faker. He's he's probably gonna retire soon, right? But I want to make sure I'm beating Faker in a game of League of Legends before he retires, and then on top of that. Like, in an ideal scenario, it's me versus Faker, World's Grand Finals. That would be ideal. I beat him to get the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I, beat, I beat him to get the trophy, right? Yeah. And then I'm done. I'm out of league. Yeah. You know, I think winning multiple championships in league is a little bit too, it's a bit too difficult. So I'll just take a Worlds. Okay, then we're done. Now, right. after, after league, we're hopping, we're hopping back to shooters <laughs> over to CS. Okay, at this wow. point... Okay. At this point, I'm maybe, tw how old? Maybe like 25, 25-ish. So I've still got, you know, the reaction times in me. Got like three solid years left. <laughs> yeah, and then it goes downhill, mate. It goes downhill. But no, I, 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 I think CS, I've got some sort of longevity. I think I could be on CS for got like it. five to ten years, and I'll be chilling. <laughs> if I qualify to a couple majors, you know, get, get the major money stickers, um, yep. make bank, right? And then once, yep. you know... Maybe by the time I'm 35, I'll be like, you know what? It's fine. I'm going to leave Counter-Strike. I'm not going to play any games anymore. I'm going to go over to chess. That's what I was going to say. Go yeah, over, that's go, the move. Go over to chess. Now, I don't know if you know, but I, I am, I'm quite good at chess. I'm quite good at chess. I, I got coach. You know Magnus Carlsen? So Magnus Carlsen's coach coached me. Wow. Um, guy called, a guy called Jon Ludwig Hammer. Um, I was participating nice. in in the Polk Champs chess tournament, and does he have a hammer? Oh <laughs> I I would hope so. Um, yeah, yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, Drake. No, but wait, let Benji keep going, keep going. This will be a good good clip. <laughs> yeah. So once we're on chess, now when we're on chess, you know these pros, you know Magnus Hikaru, really they're not going to retire for a while because chess is a game you can play for quite some quite some time, right? Um, right. So my goal is going to be to beat Hikaru and Magnus within the like the same hour. Might sound <laughs> <laughs> within the same hour. And then <laughs> once that's done, I hit Grandmaster and I quit, <laughs> and yeah. then I'm done. And Wait, then he just so you're going to destroy Bo Jackson, <laughs> Baker, Magnus Carlson, and who else? <laughs> everyone listen i'm hikaru, going for everyone yeah. hikaru i'm going for everyone and then once yeah <laughs> once chess is done i think i'll probably call it quits maybe i'll maybe i'll do like a little Fortnite stream and call it there <laughs> yeah what do you <laughs> yeah what do you do when you're done gaming what what would you do if you had all the money in the world and you weren't gaming anymore man i would be bored as fuck i'm gonna be dead honest with you like there there is yeah. nothing there is nothing in my life like in my sense like all i do is just play games I, I I don't know. I'm I still love it, right? I still love it. Yeah. I make, I make money from it, so there's not really any reason for me not to game. Maybe yeah, I, absolutely. I, I, maybe I'll turn into Mongrel to go gym like 24/7. I don't, I don't know, mate. To be honest, just hop, just walk across your lawn every morning and hop in the cool <laughs> plunge, and yeah. just like read a motivational book and <laughs> do everything. Buy some mate. NFTs. I'll be the next David yeah. Goggins. Fuck it, why yeah. not? <laughs> I love it. We just got to round out the uh, end of that clip because we have two spots left. We have number five and number eight left. Okay. R R6 Siege. Rainbow Six. Oh, okay. I, I have played Rainbow Six before. It is a difficult game. However, there are transferable skills. So I don't think it's that difficult. Listen, in terms of... Listen, if you want to be really good at Rainbow Six, you've got to play it a lot because you've got to have like the map knowledge and stuff like that. Like that's the thing. I would, I was playing Rainbow Six without any map knowledge. I would just go on and aim, and I was still pretty good. I wasn't a top because I didn't know anything about the game. Actually, I was just aiming and killing people. Um, I'm gonna put it rank eight. I'm gonna put okay. it. I'm, I'm gonna put it bottom eight. I might, you know, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. Um, sorry for the Rainbow Six fans out there, but. What can you do? And Apex is five. 
Nice. <laughs> Next one. Your name is Benji Fishy, but I'm going to pitch you some other gamer tags, and you're okay. going to tell me if they are trash or gas. Okay. All right, ready? Ready. First one, Benji Doggy. Trash. Okay. No. You don't feel like you have that dog. You don't feel like you have that dog. No, in you? that just doesn't sound good. Benji Doggy. What the <laughs> fuck is that? That's all. <laughs> because you, you're just like dogging these dudes. Like no, no. Um. No. All right, all right. Next one, Benji Fendi, and you just wear like Fendi. Oh, you're just decked out in <laughs> Fendi all the time. Gas. That is gas. Head gas. to toe Fendi. Benji Snakey. Can't trust him. <laughs> Gas, that's a good one. I'll give you that one. Okay. I, actually, I actually had that nickname on Fortnite. People were calling me Benji Snakey because I... Who did I snake? I think I, I snaked Mr. Savage at one point for, for Mongrel. <laughs> and they were calling me Benji Snakey. Dude, that is such a, it's such a wild thing where you just like put a bunch of 15-year-olds in a competitive environment and then they all just start... It's hilarious, though. It's hilarious. It, it still happens <laughs> to this day. It's brilliant. It's, it's, a, it's a lovely watch, to be fair. I still, I still keep my eyes on the scene from a distance, but from a long distance. Yeah. I'm not trying to... Not trying to mess around with that anymore. Fuck that. No, no chance. Yeah. Uh, Benji, Benji Goaty. Gas. That's a good one. Benji Goaty, because I, yes. I am a goat. I agree. Benji Slothy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that one? <laughs> why, why would I be called Benji Slothy? I don't know. I'm just, just pitching out rebrands. What do you think? <laughs> oh, uh, well, We'll go gas. We'll go gas. Gas? Okay. <laughs> Why would I be Benji Slothy? Uh, Benji Sneaky. Benji Sneaky? Nah, trash. That's not a good one. Trash? Guy. All right, last one. Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> gas. I would, I, would, yeah. I would be down for the rebrand. Surely there's nobody yeah. else called Benjamin Franklin, right? No way. I should be able to take all that. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you, you could make your whole brand like $100 bills and stuff. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> That'd be sick. All right, cool. Ben, you're up. All right, Benji. So I asked Clicks this question, um, and it blew up because his answer was absolutely absurd. I don't know if you can do some quick brain math here. I want you to estimate the amount of your life that you have spent playing video games, and if you can kind of break that down based on hours in game from the different games that you actually know statistics for um, yeah but like how how long have you spent with a controller mouse and keyboard on your palms not touching grass <laughs> oh, man okay well a very long time uh let's okay we'll start off with fortnite because i think that that is the game most hours in that is it's above 10 i think i've got twelve thousand hours in fortnite um around that and i did that over like four years so someone can do the math on that that it's like i think on average it's like nine hours a day for like four years straight no breaks something like that that is 1.36 1.37 full year that's that's more than a year of hours that's insane. and that's no sleep that's no sleep yeah so that is the main game that was over four years you said that was, yeah. yeah, I mean, around that. I mean, it, give or take, it's maybe like 10 to 12, maybe 11, some, somewhere around that. Wow. So it was a lot of gaming. It was a lot of gaming. Um, and then we've got Counter-Strike. I think I've got like 4,000 hours in Counter-Strike. So I'll just add it. So that's like 4,000 hours Counter-Strike. It's like 15,000-ish maybe. League is also around 4,000. 4, so like 19,000 hours in League. Those are like the top three games I played when I was like younger. Now Valorant as well. Uh -huh. I think I've got like two, three thousand on Valorant. So twenty-two thousand hours across. Those are my main four games. And in Rocket League, I've got maybe like eight hundred, maybe to a thousand. What, what was my last number? Like twenty? We're on like twenty-four. We were on twenty, twenty-three. If you if you said twelve thousand for Fortnite. Okay, twenty. We'll do twenty-three thousand. Okay, so then yeah, plus one thousand for Rocket League, right? So twenty-four. That's 24,000. And then, mate, I've played so many just games. Like, there's this game called Realm of the Mad Gods. It's, it's like some, <clears> it's like World of Warcraft type of game. I've got like 2K hours in that. Like, it's just like random games I've got hours in. So, like, I'm on like 26,000. And then, I mean, 26,000. Overall, like, just of course, because those are like my main games I play, but I've played so, like, every, any game you can think of, like Call of Duty, I've played everything. Like, I've 
probably got at least thirty-five to forty thousand hours, maybe more. Like ever, because I was oh I was game. I mean, I was gaming since like eight years old, and ever since I was eight, I was just I was gaming. Like when you think of gaming, I was just gaming all day. Um, so yeah, that's, that's so crazy. How old are you, Benji? Now I'm twenty. So twenty. You started when you were eight. You've been gaming for twelve years. If you've played thirty-five thousand hours, you've you've been gaming for four full years without doing anything else. <laughs> Love that. I mean, so when you put it like that, it doesn't sound great. <laughs> do you have any physical effects from that? Like, do you have like arthritis or your your eyes hurt ever? I'm I'm a bit chubby. Apart from that, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chilling. Same. Same, and I don't have all those hours. <laughs> it's crazy, man. <clears throat> Do you think EU or NA gamers are better and why? Oof. Okay. I think overall, across all games, I think EU is superior. Um, I think... Now, why? Um... Question. I don't know. I, I think Europeans are like I think if you look at Counter Strike, like Europe dominate. Europe completely dominate. Like games like Counter Strike. I mean, League of Legends. You know, maybe not. But like, I think FPS shooters in general, Europe dominate. And most yeah. like major games are shooters. Uh, maybe there's some I don't know about, like Rainbow Six. I don't really know who wins in that. But like, from the games I know, Europeans just dominate. I think. Maybe it's just genetics, bro. Maybe maybe it's just genetics. I, I think that it just comes down to that. Something I mean, in, something in the tea. Yeah, it's just it's in the blood, mate. I'm telling you, it's just in the blood. European genetics, like, what can you do? You can't really compete. Like Americans, they, okay. NA is very content. They love content, right? Yeah. And they do it really good. It. They do it really good, right? They're very good at content. Some say the best. But they don't win as many championships as Europe. That's just how Ooh. that's 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 how that's how gaming goes. Something in the Nandos, I guess, right? I yeah, has to be. <laughs> yeah, something in the crumpets. <laughs> <laughs> if the, if there so you're saying if there were to be like a Call of Duty revolutionary war game, EU would be in a in it. A revolutionary Call of Duty game. Yeah, yeah where it's, like it's EU war. versus NA. I mean, EU would wait. Wait, what do you mean? Like a, like a video game, or you mean like real life? Oh, I mean, I think we know what happened in real life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, maybe, maybe NA can take Call of Duty. They can. <laughs> you, you guys are good with guns, man. I don't yeah, mess with that. Yeah, I'm yeah. good with those. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to follow up with one more back to back here. I am going to name a Valorant player, and you tell me if you think you can beat them in a 1v1. Okay, understood. Tens. No, no. I, I was, oh, you I think was, you can? No, I was, you think you can? I think no, okay. Being respectful. Okay, no. Listen, listen, listen. I would say yes, but he did just beat me like a month ago. So I got it. I, I, you know, I'll let him have the one v one. You know, he's better than me at the moment. Give me, give me a few months. That's what I'm gonna say. Nice. Give me a few months. Uh, boaster. Yes. Yeah. I mean, okay. Boaster. I would. Yeah. One v one. Like, he's not known for his mechanics. I love him. I, yeah. I love both. He's not known for his mechanics. Um, crashies. Crashies? Yeah, I would be him in a 1v1. Uh, Tarek. Yes, I would also. Yes, 100%. I mean, okay, he's good. He is good. But, like, yeah, he's a streamer. In all Artist. Yes, I would be artist in a 1v1. What about Demon 1? Demon 1. I'll, I'll I'll give Demon one. I'll, I'll say no. I think Demon one would be me. His I think his aim is like best in the world. To be fair to him, so I'll I'll let him have that. Um, what about Zelsus? I would beat Zelsus in a one v one. I mean, we didn't beat them in Madrid. I would beat him in a one v one though. He he also beats me in terms of like selling bundles. So you gotta you gotta give him some respect. That's true. That's true. All right. What about Fortnite players? I'm going to name a Fortnite player. You tell me if you think you could still beat them in a 1v1. Okay. 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 Mongrel. 
Okay, no, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't beat Mongrel. This guy, this guy in one v ones, he try hards. This I remember when I was play, like even when I was playing like in 2019, 2020, when I was playing a Mongrel. This guy in one v ones, he would try so hard. This guy, we're like just warming up. This guy's sitting on height, just spraying. Like it, it's it's just it's just the way he plays one v ones, bro. He doesn't. He never wants to lose height. He just he just spams you, and that's just yeah. So no, I wouldn't beat him. Just to try hard. Uh, what about clicks? You know what? I reckon I'd give Clicks a good fight. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, I'd agree. I'd agree. I mean, um, too much streaming. Too much streaming. <laughs> yeah, I mean he's got to get back to it. Too much Rainbow Six Siege. Um. All right, Ninja. Yes, of course. Okay. Uh, what about what about Asian Jeff? Asian Jeff. Yes, I'd be. Oh, I should, I should wait. No, to be fair, that guy's pretty good at one v ones. Okay. <laughs> You know what? I'll give Asian Jeff the win. It would be a close one, though. It would be a close one. Mr. Savage. Yes. But only because when I went back to Fortnite, kind of recently, I don't remember when, maybe it was like nine months ago, um, I I did win a couple times. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, Nick A30. Nick A He's been grinding while you've been... Not grinding. Yeah, but does he have the genetics? Does he have the Benji Fish genetics? I don't think so. I would be him in a 1v1. Yeah, not enough Nandos. Not um, enough Nandos. <laughs> not enough, uh, yeah, T there. Uh, all right, uh, uh, Peterbot. Uh, the, I, I, I saw like him, I saw like, what's that, Stephen A. King or something? Like the, yeah, the, Stephen so, A. Smith. Like he, he dropped like 40 kills in a cash game or something. Uh, it was like a record or something. Like, that guy seems pretty good. You see, that guy, like, that guy grinds. You can just tell. Like, there's a video of him. Like, I don't know. He just looks, he looks like a Fortnite gamer. I, I'll, I'll let him win that one. He can take it. Dude, we need to submit you against Bo Jackson on the Stephen A. Smith thing. Ooh! We should do that, Ben. Yeah, we, we should, should do that, Ben. <laughs> that would be so good. I bet he would. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll submit it. We'll do, like, a video write-in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'll... I'll I'll come up with a little argument. We'll put it in there, and we'll try to get you on. Steam yes, yes, yes. Perfect. All sick. right, go ahead, man. How long is a fortnight? Fourteen days. Damn. Did I get that. Correct. Yes. That's good. Let's go. Is it or is it forty? No, it's four. It's, I thought it was either fourteen or thirteen. I'm quick. It's uh, it's fourteen, I believe. Listen, if if Clicks, you would have asked me Clicks that, I'd never heard of. Clicks didn't even know that was a real word. And yes, you're right. You're right. It's 14 days. Nice. No, if if you asked me back in my Fortnite days, I would have known it. I think <laughs> I think starting playing Valorant made me smarter. So yeah. I can see that. All right. Give me the full story of your iconic thumbs up clip. The iconic thumbs up clip. Um. Okay. Yeah. The classic. Oh wait. What? You could have. One of them was. Uh. Yeah. No. Fortnite World Cup. Of course, everybody knows about it. Um. I mean, it's, it's not really much of a story, you know, I'm sitting on stage, um, I think it was, a, there was, maybe I'd already played a game, like, maybe it was after game one, um, or something, and it was during duos, I believe, it was on the first day. You could, like, kind of see the screen, like, to the, like, the cast, whatever, like, in the background, and I think I saw myself on the screen, right, but I wasn't 100% sure, I could see, like, a little bit of it, and I thought it was me, then, I, like, I started I did like that. I, I was trying to get a crowd reaction to see if it was on me. So I did that, and then people started cheering. I was like, oh, sh oh sh wait, it's on me. So I did, I did that. <laughs> and then, yeah. That's I, cool. I, yeah, it was sick. It was, it was like during the moment, because like, you got to think about it. I'm like, how old was I? I think it was, I just turned 15. And, you know, I get flown to New York in front of this huge crowd. Like, I was shitting myself. I was so nervous. But it was such, it was such good. It was like best experience of my life. Be honest, like one you get heavy sniped. You get heavy sniped in the back. Oh yeah, no, it was it was such a fun <laughs> fun tournament for me. Yeah, no, lost out. You know, oh my god, you know the the way the prize money worked. Um, it was like twentieth to a hundredth place in both the game modes. Um, they got fifty thousand, and then from twentieth yeah, to nineteenth, you got an extra fifty k. Man, I got twenty fifth in solos. I was one point off getting an extra fifty k, and it was the same in duos. I got fourteenth, and I was an extra point. Off of getting an extra 50k. So I was like 1.0 off in both game modes of getting an extra 100k. Dude, the Fortnite World Cup was 
So sick. I remember being at it and being like, oh my gosh, this is the future of gaming. Like next year's is going to be even bigger. And the oh, year after that, it's going to be like oh, terrible. And then it just never yeah. happened again. I mean, to be fair, COVID messed it up. But like, I'd, I don't know. I was actually speaking about it like quite recently on my stream. It's like, I'm just not excited to go and watch Fortnite anymore. There's nothing that excites yeah. me about watching competitive or watching watching like a streamer play. The, o the, the only thing I said though, was if my mum made FNCS Grand Finals, that that would make me want to watch. Apart from Fortnite that, needs that to happen. It, that that would be that would be peak content, I'm telling you. But apart from that, like, nah, it's just the game's boring, man. I'm sorry, the game's just boring. I, uh, yeah. I just... <laughs> You're British, Benji. I need you to give me your top five breakfast items. Breakfast items. Yeah. I'll go with sausages. Eng okay. I, I'm not a huge fan of sausages, like English sausages especially. They're not not my go-to, but they are a, sta a staple part of the English breakfast. So we've got to put it rank five. Okay, I like this list so far. Rank four, we're gonna go with. We'll go with eggs. Eggs. They're very solid. Oh. Very solid. You know, I I do love it as a breakfast item. Okay, <laughs> but can't put it into the top three. Cannot put it into the top three. Oh. Um, okay. and you'll see why. Um, rank three, rank three, we are going bacon. Another Ooh, staple wow. part of an English breakfast. I feel like most people agree with me. Top three bacon, hundred percent. Like within the top three at least. Um, good bacon. Okay. You can't really, you you can't, guys, can't really be it. You guys like do it like raw though. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, like raw. You, like it's not crispy. Oh, yeah, they are. Did you... Are they like slimy? Don't you guys cook like slimy bacon over there? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, I could have sworn your bacon was slimy. Man, what bacon have you had? <laughs> Is it crispy? Is bacon crispy? I mean, yeah. You can make crispy bacon. Like, Well, how do you make it? Is it like a little slimy? No, it's, <laughs> <laughs> Just, no, it's crispy. All right. All right. Continue. Um, Continue. <laughs> crazy, man. Yeah. Okay. And now... Next up, rank two, we are going to go, you know what, wait, yeah, rank two, now, this, might sound, this might be crazy, I'm going to go with bread, now, hear me out here, hear me out, you're, you're describing an American, American no, 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 man, listen, hear me out, like, bread in general is such a, like, a big part of breakfast, because it can be turned into so many things, turned into toast, bread on yeah. toast, bread, bread and marmite, I don't know if you guys like, I fucking love marmite, you know, have some good toast and then you can also what turn mar what, what is marmite what is, that? is that like vegemite never heard of that what is marmite you're joking no have you never heard of marmite no. what? what are you is talking like about marmalade? jelly are you talking are you talking about jam what <laughs> <laughs> i'm talking about jam no yeah, bro jam. wait you've never had marmite wait okay i wait do you know what jam do you know what jam is though yeah of course okay. i know what jam right, is so it's different than okay. jam Right. It's like All the right. opposite of jam. It's like salty. Uh, okay, to be fair, not many people would like. It's like loose. It, it's like you know Vegemite. Somebody said I forgot you said jam, but it's like Vegemite. But it's that's like the Australian version. But Marmite is is the best. Um, okay. Got it. But anyway, bread can be turned into so many different things. You can make like you can just have it on the side. You can have it. You can make a sandwich with it. Um, stuff like so. That's why I'm putting it rank two. Um, okay. Yeah. I think Got that's it. Fair. And now rank one. All time best breakfast item is a hash brown. Now, mm. hash browns, they're just, man, McDonald's hash browns, my God, they are like, I live for that shit. Seriously. So nice. They're, you just, so you nice. know, when you start off your morning with a McDonald's hash brown, or, you know what? When you're on a night out and it gets to the time of day where McDonald's is open and you can just get yourself some hash browns, the day, the, the night is finished. That is, that is, your night is complete. Um, so yeah, it's, you can't beat it. To be honest, you can't beat it. Hash browns are the goats. Except in America, hash browns are crispy, and I know that you guys kind of make them wet over there. Man, like shut up. No. What is, <laughs> what is your problem with, like, slimy and... Bro, uh, I don't get Did it. it. Well, you guys, you guys tell me. I don't know why you make them wet over there. No, you just, you just aren't having good English food, man. I swear <laughs> to God. So your English breakfast is hash browns, bread, bacon, eggs, and sausages. That sounds like an American breakfast. That is, okay, 
But okay, listen. English, no, because you have beans in there as well. Black pudding, but it isn't in my top five. Ew. What? What do you mean, ew? Ew. What? Ew to what? <laughs> beans or black pudding? <laughs> Bro. Black pudding beans, is kind of gross. No, black pudding is really hoping, nice. I was hoping that you would say all the super English stuff, and then I was going to say follow up question. How many SEC championships do you have? You <laughs> Sorry, that, no. my bad. <laughs> no, I mean to be fair, I I, I do not like beans. I don't like I don't like beans. I'm not I'm not a beans guy. Like my my Got mom it. fucking loves like beans on toast. Nah, not my. A little right. beyond tea. I'm gonna go off that actually. So you have had British, and this isn't a competitive NA versus, versus EU thing. This is just real deal. You've had British fast food, and you've had a lot of American fast food. So I'm gonna put them up against each other. You tell me who wins. Hey, what, like British, British fast food, food just in general. Versus American food, just in general. Yeah. Nando's versus Canes. Oof. That's okay. That's gotta go Canes, man. Canes is unreal. That sauce, what they put in that, and the breads. Oh my god! Don't even. Don't get me started. I miss it. Yeah, yeah. I Canes love better. Canes. Canes is better. Well, what about Nando's versus Chick Fil A? Nando's clears Chick Fil A. Gotta be honest. Nando's does clear Chick Fil A. Um, maybe that's just the the British coming out of me, but you know, Chick Fil A is also good. To be fair. Um, Greg's versus Krispy Kreme. Greg's, hundred percent. I mean, I'm not. I listen. I'm not a donut type of guy. Okay. And Greg's, man, you can't you can't beat a Greg sausage roll. Like it's just it's a staple to the English culture. Isn't that an insult in uh, Britain where you say like freaking donut? Like, you donut. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can call people donuts. Yeah, it just means stupid. Cool part about your country. Um, all right. Uh, pizza. <laughs> pizza. Okay. Pizza Express versus Pizza Hut. Pizza Express versus Pizza... Wait, which one's American? Pizza Express? No, Pizza Hut. But we've got Pizza Hut in England. Yeah, but it's a little, it's a little like, wetter. It's not crispy. <laughs> So pizza, 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 it's pretty good. We'll give it an Outback Steakhouse. Great. That's a great American meal. Uh, Harvester or Denny's? Uh, okay. Denny's. Harvester. Uh, I, I used to like it when I was a kid. So now, not so much. Got it. Okay, cool. All right. Thanks for playing. That was awesome. Thank um, you. I'll just do the rest of the interview, Grady. You can, you can show <laughs> Okay, cool. <laughs> Hypothetical situation for you. Um... You work at Epic Games, okay. and they ask you to, to develop an infirmature version of the game. What does it look like? Man, okay, I mean, like, the thing is, right, Fortnite's a good game. Like, if you make it 18+, plus, you got to get some, like, you got to, like, get blood, like, Call of Duty or something. Like, you got to make it at least, at least a bit, like, mature. Get get some, like, get some fit girls in there, like, surely. Like, like, <laughs> so, like right now. Get some shotties in there? <laughs> I mean, you've got like you've got Chun Li, right? Like that is yeah. like it's pretty good, but you could you could go more. She's a, she's a baddie. She's a baddie for sure. For she sure. is certified baddie. She is. All right, so you need to put some baddies in the game. Yeah. Um. What else we got? Um. What about Benji crime? Ba Benji Baddie would have been a great uh, rebrand. That would have been a good one actually. Um. Yeah, would you put crime in it? Crom? What's crom? Crime. 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 Yeah, well, you, you could commit crimes. <laughs> Wait, that would be that would be so good, mate. You can make it like a role playing game or something, and just or... yeah, <laughs> mate. Okay, that's that's good. <laughs> okay, just commit illegal crimes, bro. That would be that would be brilliant. All right, I'm I... loving this game. I'm all over it. Nice, but the, the main part right. is fit girls, fit skins. That that would be the main main part. I'm gonna do a few rapid fire. Okay, should be should be good here. What is the greatest Fortnite era of all time? Greatest Fortnite era of all time is Fortnite World Cup Prime. Mm. Like within within Fortnite Prime World Cup and Season X, 
you know, MMB, that is prime Fortnite era for me. That is, that's the GOAT, the best map, the best guns, the best competitive, you know, just viewer base, uh, viewers, everything. Like, that is by far the prime. And uh, give me your Mount Rushmore of Fortnite streamers. Mount Rushmore, like who's, who's uh, like the best? Top four, yeah, like the four most iconic Fortnite streamers of all time. Four most iconic Fortnite streamers, okay. We'll go with rank four. Rank four, we will go... You know what? I will go with... I'll go with Clicks. You know, I don't think he's... You know, all time, there are better... You know, just in terms of Fortnite history. But with what he's done, he's been very successful. Good streamer. We'll put him rank four. Um, next, rank three. Rank three? Um, you know what? I'm going to go with Nick A30. Nick A30, he, he has kept it, you know, very PG. PG over the past, what is it, five, five years of Fortnite? And I think that is impressive on its own. So we'll give him a top three. Um, rank two. Mm, rank two. We'll go. Rank two. We'll go with Ninja. Ninja. Listen, one of the goats. Absolutely one of the goats. That's why he's top two. Um, he has had a cultural impact on society. Very large one. So you've got you've to gotta respect it. Um, you know, a lot of people didn't like him. People said that he fell off. This guy, this guy's the most rich guy I've known. Bro, the mixer move leaves mixer gets gets all the money from the contract. You gotta respect that. You gotta respect it. And rank yeah. one, the all-time goat is mongrel. Rank one all-time goat. That is, it might be crazy. Might be crazy, but You're this so is nice. <laughs> Why are you? What, what do you expect me to say? <laughs> I don't know. You're just so nice to Mongrel. I mean, uh, I, don't know, I love Mongrel, man. He's a nice guy. Yeah, boys. And he's, you know, he's a goat, mate. Uh, he's a nice kid. Um, played with him. Yeah, legend. Rank one Mongrel. Last question. <clears throat> what is the greatest Fortnite clip of all time? My solo Dreamhack clutch. I, I think mm. that that clip... Come on, that is. I think that is one of the all-time great Fortnite clips. I, I think. I think it is the best. Like, at least it's very up there. I can't think of any others that you know beat that out. That was a very good clip. So yeah, maybe I'm biased, but that was a good clip. Love it. Final question, because I think everyone wants to to hear about this, but it's kind of a serious question. So. You walked away from making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to play Valorant professionally, maybe. Like you walked away and you're like, I'll maybe be able to play professional Valorant. What, was, what were your feelings like throughout that entire process? Um, I mean, yeah, when I quit Fortnite, it was more like it was no, it was no way near like a business reason like for it. You know, like a lot of people thought that I did it, like because I thought I'd have more viewers on Valorant or I'd be more successful on Valorant. I didn't think that in the slightest. Um, you know, I knew what I wanted to do was to go pro, and I was just going to stream my journey to get there. And that's what my plan was from the beginning. You know, I was just going to play to improve, and maybe one day I'll go pro. Um, so I was, you know, I was, I was super, I was super fine with literally not being pro for the next three years playing Valorant. Like I, I was, I was just going to grind it. Like, it's just what I do. I love grinding games. I love, you know, I love getting better at games. That's the, that's the main thing. I love improving. And I got like the opportunities I got, I took them. Um, like even, I mean, I took the risk of, you know, I left NRG, um, which, you know, I'd contract, I had a streaming contract for them. Um, to join a tier two team on no salary. Um, and it's a pretty big move, like going from having a streaming contract to just to a, a random tier two team, kind of right. just hoping that you're going to go pro, um, making no money. And I was on that team for like six months. So I was playing like unplayed Valorant for like, I don't know, six, seven months, uh, maybe longer. Um, and then, yeah, after that, I, yeah, I just trusted, I trusted myself. That I would be able to do it. I trusted the process. Um, and I just grinded, man. And then eventually I got hit up by Heretics. Um, 
and did my trial for them. I did good. And yeah, and I got here now. So I, I, I actually, I ended up signing my contract to Heretics under a year before I quit Fortnite. Oh yeah, before I quit Fortnite. Like, wow. I, I think I quit Fortnite like July 2022 and I signed the Heretics like end of June 2023. And when you were 14 years old and you first started playing Fortnite, your dream was to buy your mom a house. Has that dream become a reality yet? That dream has become a reality. Um, the, same, the same house that was in that super old Fortnite documentary, um, we used to rent it and now, now we own it. So, Let's go. That's awesome. That's sick. Well, You're Benji, con congrats. Thanks for coming on the pod. Thank you. Great Thanks catching up. Mm -hmm. and, we'll uh, always be rooting for you, dude, whether it's against Magnus or Faker. Or I appreciate me. it. It's, it's going to be a long journey, so you guys better keep up. We will. Well, Conor <laughs> McGregor probably at some point. <laughs> oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Benji. Later. Thank you.